Hey, this is Mike and Joey. Uh, Joey's got driving duties now, so... Uh, he said duty. <laughs> I did say duty. <laughs> so, um, I'll, I'll manage the recording, the camera here for us. But in the past week, um, seems like a lot of issues with lenders and stuff lately, right? We're definitely seeing a, an increase in uh, issues going on with... Uh, people when they're getting their documents into their lenders and telling their lenders the truth, you know, and, and making sure that um, the lenders have everything they need in order to get the yeah. loan done, right? Yeah, for sure. One thing is for sure, the lenders are going to find out that you just lost your job or they're going to find out if you got alimony payments that you didn't disclose. Or you bought a new car just before closing. Yeah, yeah buying a new car, not a not good idea once you've started the process of buying a house. So, um, a couple things with that. I mean, the lender's doing their job, just asking the right questions. Our lender is great. Give a little shout out to CMG. Yes. Uh, Carrie Ann and Sean do excellent work um, and make sure that all the questions are answered very early on in the process. So you're not having any issues with uh, missing closing dates or worst case scenario, getting a loan denial and and just let let's put this little disclaimer in there our clients are not the clients we're talking about they're they're buyers of our listings right so they are not the the folks that we're reference, referencing here so yeah definitely uh, just want to make that that clear <laughs> yeah cuz i mean most of our most of our buyer clients we recommend that they go to CMG or we find out for sure if they've got another reputable lender that they can get to right absolutely um, one of the other issues uh, along with the the lender things is we've noticed that out-of-state lenders folks that have no investment into our local community but you know people decide to use an internet uh, lender or you know somebody in California and they're you know trying to do the transaction here in Tennessee uh, we're seeing an increase in issues with those out-of-state lenders not being able to get the deal done yeah. There's a lot of things that go wrong when uh, you've got somebody that's on the internet. Number one, you can't get a hold of them on the phone necessarily, and you want to have a personal face-to-face -face meeting. You can't do it. Um, but more importantly than that, they aren't building a business, a book of business that they care about, repeatable business from this area, so they won't go above and beyond to make sure that they're building that book of business in Middle Tennessee. But also, relationships with their vendors. I mean, they're going to call upon a home appraiser, right? And that appraiser, if they get one deal a year from them versus getting uh, 30 deals a month from them, obviously they're moved uh, and getting more priority if they're getting a lot of business from that same lender. So that does have an Im impact and can cost the deal might maybe the house doesn't get to be purchased just because of that or you missed a closing date and missing a closing date could cost you a lot of money what what ways could a missing a closing date cost money well if they lock their rate they're gonna have to pay additional money to uh, try and get that same rate yeah to extend it to extending extend a lock it. is not cheap folks <laughs> extending your rate lock is something you do not want to have to have the pleasure of meeting finding out what that's going to cost you. Um, other things that could cost you money is, well, your moving companies are probably already being booked out a couple weeks, but then when you have to schedule them on an immediate notice and they're working on Saturdays and Sundays, it's going to drive up your cost. Um, the other thing that could drive up the cost is if you miss the closing date, the seller might not be very happy because maybe he's got incurred expenses now and maybe they're gonna try to push some of those expenses over to you because as the buyer, maybe you were the one that caused that problem by having a lender that didn't get the job done. Might be additional carrying costs for the seller that they weren't expecting to pay and things like that. So, you know, all that to say is, you know, using a quality lender, preferably somebody in your local market and somebody that your agent has a relationship with is, I, I think it's critical. In the, in the transaction process. I really do. Uh, there's a lot of value in the relationship because there's an investment from that lender
to do a good job because they want you to refer business to them. Yeah. Definite value there. So they're going to bust their tails trying to make the deal work.